Venus moves through the classic Scorpion, Libra, Scorpius, and Ophiuchus, during the next 46 days. The planet is south of the ecliptic, appearing in regions of the constellations that we might not expect to see it. Venus closes in on Earth. The observing interval occurs at nearly mid-twilight so that dimmer stars are easier to see than earlier in the apparition. Venus sets later each evening and brightens in the sky. On October 9, the Moon is near Venus and Delta Scorpii. A week later, Venus passes Antares. Look for an evening half-phase through a telescope near the end of October and the evening greatest elongation. Chart Caption, 2021, September 18, October, Venus moves through the classic Scorpion, Libra, Scorpius, and Ophiuchus. Look for the planet with the stars in the southwest about 45 minutes after sunset. The chart above shows the planet's position each evening. To follow the planet's eastward trek through the constellations, see this semi-technical summary. On September 18, Venus moves into Libra. It sets at the end of evening twilight and continues to set after twilight ends until late December. Chart Caption, 2021, September 23rd, Venus passes 2.0 degrees to the lower left of Zubin el Janubi. Venus passes 2.0 degrees below Zubin el Janubi, the southern claw, September 23rd. On October 7th, Venus moves into the official boundary of Scorpius. Chart Caption, 2021, October 9th, the crescent moon, joins Venus. The lunar slice is to the upper left of the planet, while Venus is lower left of Delta Scorpii, Delta SCO. Two nights later, October 9th, the crescent moon, 17% illuminated, joins Venus. The lunar slice is 2.6 degrees to the upper left of the planet, while Venus is 0.7 degrees to the lower left of Delta Scorpii, Delta SCO on the charts. Chart Caption, 2021, October 15th, Venus is 1.4 degrees to the lower left of Dim Rho Ophiuchi, Rho Off. Use a binocular. Notice that Venus, Antares, and Sigma Scorpii, Sigma SCO, make a triangle. On October 15th, Venus crosses into Ophiuchus for one evening. Then it is back inside the boundary of Scorpius on the next evening. The planet is 1.4 degrees to the lower left of Dim Rho Ophiuchi, Rho Off. Use a binocular. Notice that Venus, Antares, and Sigma Scorpii, Sigma SCO, make a triangle. Chart Caption Minus 2021, October 16, Venus passes Antares. In this simulated binocular view note the locations of the planet with the starry background. On the next evening, October 16, Venus passes Antares. Venus is 1.4 degrees to the upper right of the star. Venus moves back into Ophiuchus on October 21. 2021, October 29, Venus is at its greatest elongation. Venus reaches is at its greatest separation from the Sun on October 29. Known as the greatest elongation, Venus is 27.0 degrees from the Sun. Through a telescope, Venus displays an evening half-phase. It sets over 2 hours, 136 minutes, after sundown. After two more nights off Eucus, Venus moves into Sagittarius. Venus as an evening star article. 2021, September 16, Double Vision. September 16, 2021, the famous double cluster is high in the northwest before the beginning of morning twilight. The cluster pair is easily observed without a binocular's optical assist in dark locations. A binocular is needed in town. The great galaxy in Andromeda is nearby. 2021, September 15-22, Evening Planets, Harvest Moon Effect. September 15-22, 2021, the Moon passes evening planet Saturn and Jupiter as a lead into the harvest moon and the geometrical effects of the sky, known as the harvest moon effect. 2021, September 13, Mercury at greatest elongation. September 13, 2021, Mercury reaches greatest elongation tonight. It is a challenge to see in the bright twilight. 2021, September 14, Moon steeps in teapot. September 14, 2021, this evening the bright gibbous moon is in a section of the constellation Sagittarius that is frequently known as the teapot. Additionally, evening star Venus, bright Jupiter, and Saturn are in the evening sky. 2021, September 10-13, Moon, Scorpion. September 10-13, 2021, the waxing moon passes the classic Scorpion in the evening sky. Look for them in the south-southwest during the early evening hours.